Tuesday, I'm fading. Goodbye, Ruby Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday afternoon. Tuesday. Tuesday's gone with the wind. Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. Aladdin topped the four-day memorial box office weekend with a haul of $112 million. Globally, Aladdin did pretty well with $233 million worldwide. John Wick Parabellum dropped into second. Meanwhile, Will Smith, the star of Aladdin and one of the biggest movie stars in the world, makes it a little problematic when he wants to sneak into a theater to see his latest flick. But he figured out a way. Will slinked into a Calabas, California theater just after the joint went dark for a showing of Aladdin on the weekend. Jada Pinkett Smith, Jaden, and Willow were along for the ride. When the movie ended and the lights came up, Will stood up, people went nuts. Will was swarmed by fans who wanted selfies and hugs. Adam Levine is leaving The Voice, which also stars Kelly Clarkson and Blake Shelton. The announcement and a replacement was made Friday morning on the Today Show. After 16 seasons, Adam Levine, our beloved coach and friend, has decided to leave The Voice. Oh. Adam was one of the original coaches that launched the show, winning the competition three times and inspiring many of the artists that he worked so closely with over the years. Of course, many viewers will miss watching his frenemy relationship with Blake Shelton. He'll always be a cherished member of The Voice family, and of course, we wish him nothing but the best. With Adam's departure, you might be wondering, well, who's going to be sitting in that coveted big giant red chair? And I'm happy to share this morning that Gwen Stefani will be returning oh, for season 17. Great. Gwen has sat in the chair before. She met her current boyfriend, Blake Shelton, through the show, and we're looking forward to having Gwen back. As you know, we are here today to question Mark Zuckerberg on Facebook's data sharing techniques. Uh, Mr. Zuckerberg, when did you first come in contact with Cambridge Analytica? Yes, it was September of 2015. <laughs> The same week you sent a Facebook message to your high school girlfriend telling her she still had great legs and that your wife was away if she wanted to get a drink. Uh, very well, very well then. Uh, that's all I wanted to know. Uh, next. Mr. Zuckerberg, you say Facebook is taking measures to protect user data. Can you describe some of them? For starters, we're deleting every message sent on our platform. Just like you did this morning when you promised your bookie to get him the money out of a congressional slush fund. Okay, I'll stop you right there, Mark. Are you sure? I have some photos that I... Okay, that concludes today's hearing. Uh, we appreciate you stopping by, Mark. You're free to go now. Okay. Don't forget, you've got a massage scheduled for 3 p.m., Senator. Here's a sobering thought for you. Donald Trump's only friend is Kim Jong-un, a man who had his relatives killed by starving dogs and an anti-aircraft gun. Let's think about that for a second. By the way, Republicans can alter a video of Pelosi to make her look messed up, but no technology exists to alter a video of Trump to make him seem intelligent. Actor John Voight said that Trump is the best president since Abraham Lincoln. You know what? The only way Trump is like Lincoln is that both of them wore ridiculous things on the top of their heads. Mackenzie Bezos, worth nearly $37 billion, says she's going to give away half of her fortune to charity. Yes, the charity will be called the Mackenzie Bezos Kicking My Cheating Ex in the Balls Foundation. Jeopardy genius James Holzhauer has snagged his 28th straight victory. I'll take now hearing from relatives, scammers, and gold diggers for 200, Alex. A regional tournament was held in Japan to see who would qualify for the country's national pillow fighting championship. It's hard to believe that this is the same country that once had samurais and ninjas. I just read another story about another missing hiker. Point of fact here, I never, ever have gone missing by sitting on my couch. The South is having an extreme and early heat wave. Heat, of course, is responsible for the Southern dialect. They used to say, you all, but it melted together into y'all. 
Apple has announced its first new iPod in four years. You know what's cool about that, huh? I don't care. Well, it turns out that Rick Singer, the so-called mastermind who helped celebrities bribe their kids' way into elite colleges, also lied about his own background and credentials. It turns out that he has neither won a Pulitzer Prize, gone into outer space, nor invented the internet. Time for Nobody Give. A boulder weighing over 2 million pounds rolled down onto a Colorado highway. But that's not what blocked traffic. It was all the tourists taking selfies with a rock. Hey, idiot tourists. Nobody gives a f***. An Arizona kid who's only in the 8th grade has already received two offers to play college football. The problem is that some of the night games are past his bedtime. Hey, ridiculous college sports in America. You should be ashamed of yourself. And nobody gives a f***. And the Spice Girls have begun their big nostalgia tour. Their opening acts are the Power Rangers and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Hey, scary Spice, nobody gives a f***. Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of The Reynolds Report for you every weekday. Be sure to check out NSS Live starring Frank D'Angelo, Tuesdays and Thursdays for NSS Live.